You hear that? That's the awkward silence of a family dinner after you just got caught vaping. Most vapes contain high levels of nicotine and disappointment. <sighs> Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the TMOS Boss Show. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk on which of these three things are better. Now that I have all of them, now that I've put hours on, at least uh, recently I've been putting hours in on my PC. And then, uh, of course, everybody knows, like, you know, diehard fan of the Xbox, fan of PlayStation. My, like, all right, so because I just feel like there's, like, different aspects of when I was a fan of, like, each, you know, like, console and stuff. I guess, like, I know PC isn't considered a console, but I feel like it's still in that category. You know, like, I, I mean, I understand it's a, it, it's like, it's a computer, but, like, I still would consider it a console, you know? So, I, because I just feel like only calling, uh, because, yeah, there's hand, it's because it's, what's crazy to me is that, like there's the you know of course the consoles we all know xbox and playstation then there's handheld consoles like steam deck nintendo switch game boy um all that crap like why is pc just called pc or a gaming pc or whatever i mean like i still i would consider it a console it's an advanced console but it's still considered a console in my opinion but anyways which of the three are better in my opinion pc xbox or playstation now i will be talking on each individual one because um yeah like it's you know there's a lot there's a lot to discuss and i know if somebody's uh getting into gaming and then you're kind of wondering like oh which one i should start off with or which one i should get into it's gonna be pricey but just to cut straight to it um pc but if you're like i don't want to pay you know thousands of dollars for a computer then yeah go ahead get you a playstation get you an xbox or you could get both or you could be like me and just get all three of them so you don't have to trip about this type of stuff but if you do want to save yourself some extra money then yeah it's probably best to uh you know get get a console and stuff but if money is no option you know you got like a rich parent or you're rich yourself and you're like, fam, I want to get the biggest and baddest one. I don't care, you know, what things, you know, I got to learn getting with it. Uh, PC. But, yeah, that's the thing, though, with PC. And, and But, actually, you know what? Like, if you want, see, that's the thing, though. If you want to record, if you're doing it for streaming reasons or YouTube reasons, you're going to eventually have to get you um, an expensive uh, gaming computer and stuff. So, I will be talking on that and all the, you know, everything you need to know about all of it. But, you know, for like a, you know, just somebody that just wants to game and not want to stream and record YouTube videos. And then for people that do want to stream and uh, want to, you know, record YouTube videos. So anyways, let's start off with the one that I very first got into was PlayStation. Now, PlayStation has been around for years. They have some of the most goaded classic games. Now, the messed up thing about it is that you can't play any of those goaded or classic games um, especially now with the only PlayStation console being available is the PlayStation 4. Now you possibly can get you a PlayStation 5, um, but it's nowhere to be found. And if you want to go on a reselling website and pay $700 for it, you can very well do that. But I just feel like that it's a waste. And I know it's going to be crazy because I'm going to be talking about how I spent $1,600 on a PC. And people are going to probably be like, bro, you could have easily used that money to go get you um, a gaming uh, or a PlayStation 5. So here's the thing about it. PlayStation 5s don't cost that much, though. They don't cost no $700. Yes, it's far less <clears throat> cheaper than a gaming PC. But a PlayStation 5 ain't worth that. It's like $4.99 or something like that. And I think the digital one is like $2 or $3.99. 
they're not worth no seven nine hundred dollars there's people out there probably charging the same amount as a gaming pc to go get you a playstation 5 so i'm like nah it's not worth it i'm not doing that that's crazy so anyway i just turned the volume up on my microphone so if i did get louder then i i forgot to do that because when i'm streaming my microphone's like right there up on my mouth and stuff but you know i'm doing like a podcast episode or whatever i try to you know like I, I i keep it at a higher volume and stuff but anyways all right moving on so playstations uh fours you could easily get whoa i then again i'm like i can't the last time i seen a playstation 4 in store was the time when i was going to get me a playstation uh 4 pro and i was getting that because there were games i wanted to play on the playstation like you know for streaming and stuff and for youtube content and so yeah for those that don't know i'm a content creator but um yeah i was getting it for that reason but you, if you just want to get it just to play video games yeah that's um that's chill and cool too you know you don't necessarily need to get into the streaming stuff but um yeah like you know uh that's why that was the last time i saw a playstation 4 in store um i have not i'm trying to think because i can't i they probably like had stopped um well i don't think they stopped producing them i just think that they're not working on them as much because they're probably trying to save up all that material to make more playstation 5s so uh yeah you know this pandemic it definitely messed all that stuff up like with um my xbox series x because i got like yeah so i got the biggest and baddest xbox and um it was bruh like i honestly didn't think i was gonna get it i did do a podcast episode where i was talking about that where i you know the morning of when i was uh getting it and stuff and yeah for a a part of me was thinking like bro i'm not gonna get this xbox and it kind of had me worried and i'm like bro it's you know it's best but i will talk on the xbox series x my experience with that and i'm kind of afraid that's how it's gonna be with the playstation 5 but anyways, um, so yeah, talking on PlayStation and what they got going on. So, uh, the, and that's like one of the main reasons why I was saying in the beginning, <clears throat> get you a PC so you can avoid this issue. Because all consoles have this handheld, like Nintendo Switch, um, the, uh, what else? Oh yeah, so the Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation, they all got this subscription thing where you have to have their subscription to play a video game online. So I guess if you're like, well, I don't play online, I just play single player games. I think they may have a thing where you can uh, like just play like the single part of a video game if you don't necessarily play online. But there might be some of them online only games where it will require a subscription. So if you do not have that subscription and then there's so for an example, there's the one video game um, Destiny. Now Destiny, you can play that game by yourself. You don't necessarily have to play that game with others depending on the mission that you're doing. Um, but yeah, you don't have to play that game um, with others. You can play that game solely by yourself if you want to and stuff. But um, I think you will need a subscription uh, with Xbox or PlayStation to uh, you know to play the game. And that can and I know like I pay like a monthly thing for Xbox now because at one point they was doing the yearly stuff, but they stopped. Now they got like this Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and something something like that. But and then there's uh, PlayStation where I think they are working on something like uh, the um, Xbox Pat Game Pass. But um, as of now, it's just $60 a year. So if you don't mind spending that $60 a year to play online, you can do that. But um, if you don't want to do that, then I think it is possible you could play the single player games. I don't know. I've never, I can't remember the last time I had, um, had I think last time I had a moment like that where I couldn't play online. Uh, was back in high school and back then they were strict on that stuff like no you cannot play a game um without uh xbox live gold so uh yeah i'm all like after and after that i always made sure i always made sure i was up on that stuff you know and then of course like you know now making my own money i'm like oh okay like i just you know just add the card all that stuff pay for it for that month i'm good all right so anyways um but yeah it's uh that's how it is on console and it's xbox is you know same with subscription and so yeah there's that so if you're not tripping about that then uh cool but if you are i think like at the end of the day like with the amount of time you have a playstation and the amount of time that you'll have a gaming pc i think like you'll end up spending the same amount of money i think possibly i don't know i have to do that math but 
um, you're you're gonna be spending some money on a PlayStation and stuff. So yeah, there's that sixty dollars. So there's gonna be so like let's say if a video game comes out <clears throat> like every month and things, there's gonna be that one month where you end up instead of spending like sixty dollars, you're gonna have to end up spending one hundred and twenty dollars. So if you're not that type of person where it's like oh well, then, I mean you can't get games on sales too. So there's there is that and stuff. But, um, yeah, like, just overall, like, you know, there's the, the subscription thing. I, I just think that's, like, the biggest letdown because I'm like, bro, like, why? You know, like, I don't think there should be a subscription. I'm saying, like, with PC, it's pretty dope, though. Like, on PC, you don't have to worry about that. Like, all you just need to do is to have a gaming PC, an account on either Steam, Ubisoft, Connect. Epic Games, whatever, you know, game out there, you don't need to have that. All you just need is to have your Wi-Fi is working fine, and then your computer and the game. That's it. So, it's, uh, yeah, like, it's, you know, my opinion, it's a lot better on PC and stuff, but... Anyways, uh, but then now uh, talking on the video games that comes with PlayStation. So uh, yeah, PlayStation be having some good games. I say they had the Spider-Man game that was solid. Then the Miles Morales Spider-Man game that was solid too. Uh, I know there's this uh, one, it's like Horizon Zero Dawn, and then they was like Forbidden Horizon Zero, whatever the other one is called. <laughs> I don't remember. But anyways. The, um, those games are solid too. A lot of the PlayStation exclusive games are pretty solid. So like if you're looking for like some good like award winning games, yeah, PlayStation be having some uh, good games. I'm telling you, I don't know how many times when um I went on PlayStation like all throughout the years of having a uh, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 and a 4. I've always had came across some good games on there. And I don't think there was ever a time where I did. Like, yeah, of course, you know, you ain't get those bad games. But that's not like a PlayStation exclusive. I have to say, every time a PlayStation exclusive comes out, it's always good. PlayStation, PlayStation is, has a big part of my childhood because... They used to have these magazines back in the day where they had, like, I, and I, it's so messed up because I threw away all those games thinking I'm like, okay, I'm never going to play them. But I'm like, fam, I could have at least talked about them. That's the thing. I was just like, why did I throw that stuff? I at least got the magazines. But, yeah, I'm like, I, man, I wish I wouldn't have uh, done that. But, anyways, um... But yeah, so they used to have these magazines back in the day where they came out with these demos. And I was like, bro, forget buying a video game. I'm just going to be that. Bro, that's where, that's where my childhood was at. I was having fun with the demos, okay? Like, I'm saying PlayStation was in a league of their um, own back in the PlayStation 2 days. I'm like, nah. PlayStation 2, I have to say that will forever be one of the most goaded consoles. I had to say if there was one console I could bring back from my childhood, it definitely would be the PlayStation 2. I don't know, like, PlayStation 2 with, like, all the video games I had, because I'm telling you, bro, like, I, man, that was so fun playing, and it's crazy because, like, now I have more games than I ever, that I've ever had before than I did with a PlayStation 2, so I'm, it's, you know, it's crazy, like, how good the PlayStation 2 was, but, I'm telling you guys, like, if you can ever get your hands on a PlayStation 2, get your hands on it, okay? Like, play it. Get you some video games. Find a place that sells. There No, there are some places, I think, that still do sell PlayStation 2. There's this one uh, store that's, uh, it's like, um, it, it's like a, bro, it's like a, uh, just a freaking, like, a minefield. Not even a minefield, but, like, it, it's, it's like a, a, what, what, a treasure, a treasure chest. Okay, treasure, treasure chess okay there we go i had to just say so but it, it's overall like it's a dope store i'm like it's ran by these two people i went up there got a game game didn't work because it's not compatible with my xbox uh and it i guess they hadn't added it to that backwards compatible thing so i'm like i'm not even allowed to even play the game and i'm like man i just been it, it's just been sitting on my table collecting dust i'm like can't even play the game it's messed up but anyways um but no like uh yeah playstation 2 i'm like bro get get you a playstation 2 get you a crap ton of old games that stuff was fun, man. Like, I know games have improved a lot over the years, but I, you see where a lot of times, like, they are remastering games from, like, them old days and re-releasing them or coming out with a newer version of them because they were good games and stuff, so... But, um, yeah, PlayStation 2, man, I'm telling you, it was good. PlayStation 3 was good, too. And then the PlayStation 4, it was it was all right. I mean, like, I was just only getting it for, like, the PlayStation exclusives because I remember the one... So the main reason why he had even got a PlayStation 4 in the first place 
was because uh, the one video game, No Man's Sky. So No Man's Sky, and that was like this big like open world space game and stuff. It was crazy. But anyways, ended up getting it for that reason. And then they just for them to like release the game on like every platform possible. Yeah, because they released it. They released it on Xbox. I think it did release on PC at the same time it got released on uh, PlayStation. So uh, yeah, I was like, bro, I was, what was the reason of even? But no, there was other games though. I remember playing like they have Uncharted. Uncharted would probably be one of my favorite games. It's a mad difficult game, but it's still a good game though. But, um, yeah, there was that. What are some other stuff that I was playing back on? There was a lot of different, uh, dub. PlayStation 3 actually was the whole reason how I got introduced into online gaming and stuff. So, yeah, no, shout out. So, no, PlayStation 3, it was, it was good and stuff. But then, and then that's now moving into the next part of this podcast. So, I'm giving you guys kind of like a three for one special. I'm talking on like three different things. But at the end, I will be talking on which one do I currently like right now and stuff but i think based off of some previous stuff i said you guys probably already know but um anyways but yeah moving on to the next console is xbox now xbox fam i have memories on my x like i had to say like it's playstation 2 was good and i had to say that's one of the main reasons why i really don't care for playing online games because i play so many single player games where i'm like i'm content with playing a single player game and it because it just brings me back to them days where i'm playing like uh you know on my playstation 2 and stuff that's how it is today but um on xbox multiplayer oh 100% like the online community with xbox was just so wild i'm saying like you know you'll you'll have like crazy moments with playstation but i just felt like that on xbox it was it was just man like that they were the first ones to do party chats so you're like so back xbox 360 all right so let the just this is the scenario this is the scenario xbox 360 um freaking high school days Call of Duty Black Ops, because that was my very first Call of Duty. So, and that was my actually my first game that I ever did play on Xbox. But, um, Call of Duty Black Ops, Xbox Party with you and your closest friends in the middle of the night. You guys are yelling all these different things. You're not even talking like how you would like today. You hear like a lot of times, like if you watch a streamer, they, they're talking like they're really in the military and stuff. That's one thing I picked up from people that's like streamers or just even people that's just playing the game. But they'll be all like, okay, on, on your six? It's like, no, uh, around that corner. We're, bro, we're yelling at, like, I'm yelling at my friends. They're yelling at me. We're yelling at other people on the team. We're just going crazy. Like, that was the life, bro. That was not. On Xbox 360 online, it will never, ever top any online. Like, it would never ever top Xbox One, Xbox Series. I don't even talk online anymore uh, with people. I'm like, nah, I mute, I literally mute everybody unless I'm playing with friends, but I li- I mute everybody. I don't talk to nobody, bro, nobody. So that's how that is. But um, anyways, uh, so no, like Xbox uh, is solid for, you know, I feel like what online and stuff. Now it's kind of just, or it, it, I just feel like right now, where Xbox is at, and that's kind of like what PlayStation, it's just there, you know, like, there's nothing impactful happening with Xbox, and I mean, that's the one thing, though, with Xbox, is that they have this Game Pass thing, so on there, they have it where there's, like, all these crap on it, so if you have the Xbox game, and I think that's, like, the only subscription thing that you can have, so once you have that, you're able to play all these different video games for free, but that's the downfall to it. A lot of the games aren't good. They might have like an occasional like drop of a new game or of a classic or of a game that was really or that's really good. But there's a lot of games on there that I'm like, fam, why would anybody play this? Who who is streaming this game right now? Who is playing this game right now? It's like, bro, nobody cares about this game. Have a different game on there that like that's you know worth playing. But like. They have games on there that's just, in my opinion, it's not worth playing. And I'm like, I, I don't care for them. So I, I was getting a message. So if I kind of sound like I got distracted and stuff, my apologies. But anyways, no, they have games on there. that I'm like, bro, I don't, I, I don't want to play. I wouldn't even play these games if I was, wasn't a YouTuber and a streamer and stuff. So I'm saying like, these games aren't good. I'm like, I don't care for these. They have some better games or something, but 
anyways, yeah, so they got that going on. But I guess it's cool, though. Uh, there's that. And then there's um, at times where they have, like, games um, on sale for because of the Xbox Game Pass. So, uh, yeah, that like, the Xbox Game Pass, it is uh, solid. It is pretty cool and stuff. But um, other than that, like, it's, you know, they just have, like, some good games here and there. And I'm like, all right, I guess. But, um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's whatever. I'm like, but anyways, and then, no, with the Xbox Series X, that's what I wanted to talk on. So, if you currently have an Xbox One X, okay, uh, Xbox One, whichever, any of those Xbox Ones that came out, because there is the base one, then there was the S, and then there's the X. Now, when you get an Xbox Series X, don't expect anything different. I right, so here's the thing. I had an Xbox One for the longest. I was, bro, I freaking, I put so much, like, so many hours onto that console. Then when I had got my Xbox Series X, bro, it still feels like that I'm playing. I literally had to, like, move my Xbox Series X up on my table just so I can remember, oh, I'm playing on the newest Xbox. Because, no, like, here's the thing. Loading times, yes, it's relatively faster um what other things uh and the graphics yes they they are you know better and stuff with uh certain games other than that there's nothing really different from like the console itself like yeah the console like no don't like so the console is different it's like it's shaped different don't look nothing like no xbox one but when you i i remember when i had opened when i very first started up my xbox series x and i was like Bruh, like, this looks just like my Xbox One. I'm like, I I, I pay, I spend all that. I, I sat there and woke up bright and early. I walked all the way to Walmart just so they can tell me, oh, no, you're going to have to order it online. So I had to walk all the way back home just for uh, then just to sit on my computer for, like, two hours, bro. Two hours waiting for the Xbox um, Series X to go on sale just so I could get, like, it, it's a pretty much a newer version of an Xbox One. Like, like, think of it like with the iPhones, for an example. They, it, it, so you're just getting a modern version of it where it's like, okay, like the, you know, the display, the graphics and all that stuff, it's all going to be, you know, slightly better. But at the same time, you're still getting the same thing. So that's why I was like, with my Xbox Series X, like, it, it's just there. It's cool. I'm, I appreciate the fact that I can, you know, games uh, play better and stuff. But, then, well, actually, you know what? No, I take that back. So if you were, so let's say if you were to get NBA 2K22, the latest NBA 2K game, right? You will have to play the, so they have it where you can play excuse me, but they have it where you can play um, the Xbox uh, One versions on the Xbox Series X. So if you were to get the latest NBA 2K, you will have to play uh, the older, the Xbox One version, just so it can process better. Because if you try playing the Xbox Series X version, it doesn't load properly. The screen is acting all glitchy and weird and stuff. And I'm like, fam, I, I got this because I, I so I can avoid this issue. Now you mean to tell me I got to go and get that? That just doesn't even make... Oh, and then get, video games are um, more expensive. So yeah, instead of spending $59.99 for a video game where I that's how much I got to spend plus tax. Now you got to spend uh, $69.99 um, for a video game plus tax. So, and I'm like, bro, and the games don't be good at times. I'm like, why are you doing this? And then you'll have um, scamming companies like Rockstar Games where they will, um, like, they're charging you for a game that came out 10 years ago, Grand Theft Auto V. They're charging you additional money for a game that you already have. And I'm like, and every other company out there, when they come out, uh, or, or, so if there's, so for an example, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, right? That game came out, I think, around the time when the Xbox Series X is, was coming out. So when they were making that game, they were making it for the Xbox One version, right? So at some point in time, they came out with an update uh, for the Xbox Series X uh, people uh, and the Xbox Series S people because there's two different versions. There's a digital version, then there's the disc version. I have the disc version, which is the Xbox Series X and, um, yeah, so they upgraded, uh, the game for the, for free. So they upgraded the game for free. Rockstar Games wasn't doing that. 
So, like, when you go and get, so if you're uh, one of those people where, like, you you want to play perfection, you want to play, like, a game where it looks modern and newer, and there's not really much of a difference, but you're just that, like, you know, that it's sitting in your brain, like, I'm playing an older version, no, I want to play the new, you're going to have to spend money for it. So that's why I'm like, nah, that's messed up. Nah, you you guys just fell for that. I'm like, nah, I don't like that at all. So, yeah, there's that. And I'm like, man, that's so messed up. But anyways, yeah, I, that's why I'm like, I you know, getting the next-gen console is like, if the PlayStation 5 is anything like the PlayStation 4, and based off of it looks different, and I don't know how it overall plays, but I'm just saying, if it's the same thing or worse than the Xbox Series, because people have been saying, like, the Xbox Series X, like, it plays better, and I'm like, bro, I play on it. It don't seem like there's any difference. I'm like, I ain't noticing any difference uh, with it and stuff. It seems like it's doing the same exact stuff as the Xbox One was doing. It loads slightly faster and uh what are some other things yeah and i'm like and graphics are better that's it i'm like bro i was expecting a brand you like one for because i talked on that i was like i was expecting a big difference like how the xbox 360 to the xbox one like honestly it, it's like the xbox it, when you get to an xbox series x it's like xbox one and then xbox 1.5 that's literally what a xbox series x is like the point five, like kind of like with the iphone 4 and 4s when they added the front cam that's literally what the xbox series x is um all it just has is the front camera <laughs> so i'm saying like there's not much of a difference with this it. still the same stuff and that's why i'm like i you know it don't really matter to me and then getting down to the one thing that I had just recently picked up. And I'm like, bro, it's the only thing that I've really been playing. Like, I played my Xbox and PlayStation for the first time uh, yesterday in, like, maybe a couple of weeks. Like, it, it's it's been a while. Like, I haven't really been playing on it and stuff. But, no, I've recently um, got a gaming PC. And, uh, yeah, it's, bro, it is, it is amazing. It is seriously amazing amazing there's so many newer games i'm like bro and i got like a good one too so a lot there's this one game that's coming out called the day before and i really didn't know whether it was going to be a, a console game or a pc game the game's coming out oh well i have a pc but i think i did see it is coming out on console too but i don't know that for sure i know it's coming out on pc i have a pc so i'm happy about that but oh my god bro it's so much better control like control wise it's a lot better because you're playing on the mouse and keyboard and in my opinion like it, it is kind of difficult remembering the controls and stuff but no nah, like it's a lot more easier playing on that than it is playing on an uh, xbox and play like for an example so if you're playing a shooting game right you're relying on the analog stick to like look all around with a mouse and keyboard like that stuff is so fast like bro I'm t it's it's crazy and stuff so that's why i was like no nah, i like i like playing on um the uh xbox or xbox the pc uh more than the xbox and playstation stuff because i'm like you know it's just control wise it's a lot better there's a lot more gaming options a lot of the games that i do play on uh um console or on like the xbox and playstation uh 4 i'm playing it on pc or i know i can get it on pc and I'm like, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a lot easier. It's, it's just, I feel like it's people, I feel like companies think more on the computer, uh, like, you know, PC and stuff than on consoles. On consoles, they just like, that's just a last minute resort. They're all like, we ain't, cause no, a lot, there's at times when PC games are being made for consoles. Like there's the one game, DayZ, H1Z1, uh, what are some other games, uh, Car Mechanic Simulator, uh, what are some other games out there that came out? Uh, there, there's a lot. There's a lot of games that went from PC to console because them console players are all like, well, that looks fun. Like that? No, I want that game. What, what's this? I don't want this game no more. I want the PC games. And so they're having to make some version of it. But no, that's the that's the downfall of like console. So like there is the one game because um, I, I didn't know about this until one of my friends at work had told me about it. But there's this video game um, called Seven Days to Die. And so they released that game on console. The messed up part about it, they don't even work on the game no more. So there's all these people and they in the messed up and no 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 no. The more messed up thing about it is that they're still selling the game on console. 
So you can very well, I think, no, hold on for a second. Let me, well, no, because my TV might start. And I'm, I don't know how copyrights might, might like mess around and some start playing out things. But I, I'll look it up at some point in time. But I still, I think that you still can buy uh, Seven Days to Die on console. And they don't even update the game anymore. Like they update the game more on PC. That's what I'm saying. Like it's best to get you a PC because games are more um updated uh what else um there's a lot more video game options you know regardless of whether you're a streamer or con and i feel like if you are a streamer and a youtuber it's a lot easier recording that stuff because when you get a console you're having to and that's what it's like make sure you get like a good gaming pc at that but when you get a console you are gonna have to get a good computer so like if you are a streamer um or a youtuber or overall a content creator you will have to get you um a gaming computer of some sort to be able to record you're gonna have to get that a capture card rather than on a gaming pc and especially if you like upgrade the parts and make it where it's like a top tier level gaming pc um, you can do all that stuff directly on the PC, so you can record, stream, all that stuff. You ain't gotta add, like, no extra stuff, like, no capture card, none of that. All you need is a gaming computer and some programs, and the programs are free. I mean, yeah, programs is free even if you are recording off of your, but you're gonna have to go get you a capture card. You might not, even, you're gonna have to wait. So, like, like so, let's just place it out, like, if you are a content creator because if you're not a content creator you ain't gotta even worry about any of this extra stuff <clears throat> but if you are a content creator so if you get a so let's say you decide to get a console you decide to get an xbox or a playstation so if you do that you're gonna have to get a capture card and you might end up like me where you end up getting the wrong capture card and then it messes up your screen and all that so the screen might just go black on you then you're gonna have to take that capture card back and get a capture card that actually works so now you got that and then on top of that no 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 so wait a second you're gonna have to get you a gaming uh a decent computer and the only decent computers that i really know of that can handle that type of stuff is a gaming computer because no, so here's the thing. If you try, you're all like, oh, I could just get me any old kind of computer. Uh, correction, you cannot get you any old kind of computer. Let's say you try to get you a college level type computer where that thing is only good for Word documents and filing some stuff in the files. That ain't gonna work, bruh. No, I had a computer where it was like, I remember because I think that's why I remember reading about that. It's like, you know, college kids, I guess, use this computer a lot. And I'm like, okay, well, I didn't go to college. I went directly from high school to being a content creator. So I'm like, is this good for content creators? No, it was not. I remember I tried uh, recording videos off of the computer. And um, it was like, so pretty much what it would do, like if I tried to do like all this stuff right then and there on the computer, um, stuff would start lagging. I, I can find some videos of where things was just lagging horribly. You know, they wasn't playing right. Uh, what are some other issues I was having? Um, uh, oh, then with the capture card, then with so, so I did eventually end up getting the capture card, got that, start recording videos off of my Xbox 360 at the time. I can only record up to 15 minutes. Once when them 15 minutes was done and over with, like the program would start being crazy slow. The computer would start being crazy slow. So I would have to hurry up with before those 15 minutes had happened. I would have to hurry up and record uh like as much as i can and then once when i was done recording i had to like start um in my uh in the program restart my computer let it sit there for a second and then uh go and start recording some more videos again and i'm like bro i that was torture having that computer so yeah get you and i'm like after that i ended up i there was one computer i did get a lenovo and that was a uh, decent but then I eventually ended up getting a gaming um computer, and I was like, yeah, I never had that issue again after. I didn't even have that issue with that Lenovo computer. And I'm like, no, do not get anything by Dell. If you're going to get you a gaming PC, go get you some from CyberPower PC or iBuyPower PC. I don't know. There's so many. Just don't. Anything that has Dell in it, in front of it, behind it, anywhere. If you see Dell and it's next to a gaming computer click away go go to another computer go get you something else you're like oh but that one looks so nice yeah it might look nice but at some point in time that computer is going to start i've always had dell computers growing up and they always had issues 
always. And I'm like, I think the one only, well, I, one of the issues was because of me and my sister, we were downloading music off of uh, LimeWire. So, uh, yeah, I'm all like, don't download music off of LimeWire. <laughs> I'm like, LimeWire ain't even a thing no more, so I don't know why I'm talking about that. But anyways, yeah, I was like, nah, they uh, freaking, the, um, just, Dell computers are just broken, so don't fool with them, but anyways uh but yeah overall like what is my you know conclusion out of all of this get you a gaming pc get get you a decent gaming pc you might have to upgrade some parts i know i did but yeah once you have a gaming pc uh you're chilling you're good so you ain't got nothing to worry about and i'm like it's honestly one of the best investments that i could have made and stuff i'm like i wish i would have got that before uh getting any of the other stuff because i'm like bro a lot of games that i can play on console i can play on my gaming pc the only downfall is that it doesn't have a lot of memory so yeah like on console uh you know like it does take us up some memory and things um but yeah with uh um with but nah it's it's roughly the same it's roughly the same so not nah, I, I take that back but anyways uh but yeah make sure you definitely do that too get you some uh memory cards um for your uh, or like hard drives get you some uh, the memory cards is like i'm still still on the playstation two days but no nah, yeah get you some uh hard drives and once you do that then uh yeah you should be chilling on like memory space and all that stuff upgrade the capture card ram processor you know there's a lot but it's still it's worth it it is definitely worth it so uh yeah um, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 43 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at TMOSBoss. And make sure you follow my Facebook page at TMOSBoss Fan Page. Also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBoss. It would knock $20 off your first purchase. And then that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.